Hey, welcome back bass anglers. It's fall and we're going to talk about a sneaky minnow imitator that's going to get you bites when the standard stuff has been overplayed. So everybody knows that in the fall time minnows are starting to school up and then the bass school up as well to feed on them. They'll push them to the back of pockets, they'll get them out on flats, they've got them out over deep water. They're, they're taking advantage of opportunities to feed on bait fish and everybody knows that the jig minnow is one of the most popular ways to go after fish, especially if you got forward facing sonar. But even if you don't, if you can see fish schooling and you throw a jig minnow out there, you can get bit. But if you're dealing with pressured fish, or if you want an easier way to fish them, you can impart some action on your lure in a more simple way. Uh, and it's kind of a sneaky way and something you can use when this one is getting overplayed, which it's starting to be. It's very effective, but it can get overplayed. Let's start with the minnow. There's a lot of minnow imitators out there and some good ones, but I think one of the best, if not the best, is the Z-Man scented jerk shad. And I get the scented jerk shad four inch. Uh, Z-Man's got the Elastec super durable bait. Uh, it's got the stink on it with the um, scent that they've got in there. I'm not sure what their scent is, but it stinks and you'll see it in the package. It's got a little brown oily residue on it. So it's lubed up with their stink and it's effective. You've got, of course, the Z-Man plastic, which is almost second to none, super soft, a ton of tail action. That's why it's so deadly on a jig minnow. But, but here's the trick to using it a little more simply. I like to go out and put this thing on a Davis Bait Company scrounger head jig. And uh, right here I've got a 1 8 ounce Davis Bait Company scrounger head jig. You can get them anywhere. Um, they make this Davis Bait Company's got a, a nice one. They had the weights I wanted. I wanted to use uh, an eighth ounce and smaller. So they had a couple of options for me uh, as well as some of the bigger quarter three eighths. But I wanted a 1 8 ounce that had a good bass hook on it. And this one really did. And the beauty of this is it gets you the action. If you've got one of those slick, calm, full mornings and you happen to see bass busting bait or you know a particular area where they're feeding on bait, maybe over some weeds, maybe on a point, maybe over the tip of a flat or something, you can throw this thing out there and a couple things you can do. You can reel it right under the surface so you can get it under the surface and reel it and in the in the uh, scrounger head will impart that shake on it and it'll shake the tail for you so you don't have to do anything but reel it in at a moderately slow speed and then you can also really uh, kind of take it to the next level when they get into that feeding frenzy and they're really wanting something on the surface you can reel it right up to the surface and let that scrounger head break the surface of the water and it imparts a little action, you know, a disturbance on the top of the water, and then when it recovers and gets under the water, it starts its shake again, and then bring it back up to the surface and explode it out a little bit, and then let it come back down and reel in, and they'll just absolutely dive bomb this thing. It, the water clarity is the limitation for how far those fish will go to eat this bait. So this is a, a great bait to use in the fall, like I said, if they're in the back of pockets or they've actually moved out and they're on main lake points uh, I would uh, it's also great bait to throw in, you know in a windblown situation if the swim bait isn't quite minnow enough for them and you really need to fool them uh, so you know you can you can throw this scrounger head uh, you can slow roll it over the top of them you can burn it across the surface like I said to bust it out or you can reel it just under the surface. So there's a, a few different ways that you can use a scrounger head very effectively with the super soft, supple bait like the Z-Man uh, Jerk Shad and really get some fish when a regular old jig minnow, which is super effective, gets overplayed in an area. They might wanna see something a little different. Subtle differences can sometimes be key. And uh, if you're in a tournament situation, you can put five fish in the boat quick, or if you're fun fishing, you can catch some fish when otherwise things might be difficult. So give it a try, scrounger head, scented jerk shad, a uh, couple different retrieves you can do with it. Uh, and I promise you, you uh, won't be sorry that you pulled this little weapon out in the fall time when they're feeding on minnows. Hope that tip was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time on the water.